Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at my custom nighttime lookup table filter that I created with magic bullet looks. This filter contains mainly blue tones and hues that give off that really nice blue tint that you see in nighttime scenes and movies all the time. Um, alternatively, such as uh, in the movie Aquaman, they also use blue lookup tables underwater to give off a bunch of color. So that's what we're going to be doing today. A quick heads up before we begin, uh, I just want to let you know that it helps a lot. It's not mandatory, but it, it does help if you are if you have a subject that you're applying uh, this filter to, that you have a light source such as the one behind me. Uh, that's a, a bar light that I got at Home Depot or this camera light that I have uh, on top of my camera. The clip that I actually filmed uh, that's at the beginning of this of this video, I actually have this camera light uh, placed on my desk, uh, right angled from above my monitor uh, to shine like sort of on my face to really help uh, the color get brought out, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So here's the clip that you saw at the beginning of this video. Obviously, it does have a couple of things applied uh, onto it besides just the filter to give it this uh, really nice look. Um, we have pan crop enabled. This is just to zoom the clip out, so don't worry about that. Uh, we're mainly concerned with our uh, with our effects, and this is the chromatic aberration that you saw uh, applied. It looks pretty neat. Uh, but we're going to turn that off because we're only concerned with these two items. Uh, the first one, uh, which I have, I made this preset, it's called Reduce Red. Uh, basically, I took uh, Reduce Contrast, this preset here that Sony Vegas gives you, and I, I went to the red channel and I dragged it uh, just a little bit off. Um, if I take this off, let me show you. So without this on uh, that's raw footage and then reduce contrast and reduce red takes all the uh, all the harsh red tones I would say out of the footage and it gives you that nice flat look and the flat look is kind of what you want before you do any of your color grading so here's our sample clip without any of the effects on it uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to add magic bullet looks into this and if you don't know what magic bullet looks is it's basically just a color plugin that you can add into i think almost any software uh, as far as all i know is that premiere and sony vegas and i think final cut pro i'm not too sure about the apple ones um all utilize it or can utilize it um but i'll leave if you don't have it uh i'll leave links in the description to where you can download it um, be it free trials or whatnot, and uh, so here's a bunch of presets that I made. Uh, this is the one that's going to be going on this clip. I'll show you how to make it. So first, we're going to add the de I'm going to add the default preset on here because that's most likely what you're going to have at first. Um, and we're going to we're going to add effects to the tab uh, down here, and it's important that you add them. Uh, in the same order that I add them or else it's not going to look exactly the same so bear that in mind. So we're going to add, first thing we're going to add is uh, to the subject tab is saturation, the warm slash cool, that's in matte sorry, uh, warm slash cool and the color curves. And we're going to head to our saturation first and what we're going to do uh, is we're going we're gonna to reduce this to 55% and all the rest of this I believe can remain the same so that that's all you gotta do for the first step next step is we come to our warm slash cool uh, effect here and what we do is we go to the very first uh, option here and that's gonna be 0.84 and that's gonna make it the image a little bit cooler and the tint we're gonna up the tint a little bit it's gonna be 0.297 that's going to brighten it just a little bit more and exposure compensation can remain exactly the same we don't need to change that next is curves for curves we're going to want to do this we're going to make this contrast the same uh, it doesn't need to be changed shadows it's going to be negative this time so it's going to be negative 0.8 i'm going to decrease the shadows brings out uh, a little bit more of the detail 
and mid-tones. Uh, we're also going to be reducing this uh, to make like some of these areas a little bit darker. And highlights, we're going to brighten the highlights just a tiny bit. Uh, this is going to be 1.17. There we go. And now, uh, this subject tab is all done. We can leave this as is. And matte, we're going to head to matte. We're going to mess with the exposure now. So we're going to take exposure, add that into matte. And all we're going to do is just reduce it a tiny bit. Uh, so it's going to be negative, uh, I believe it's 1.4. And we're going to reduce this exposure. And the last part of this is we head to our post section here. And we add in just a little bit more saturation. And with this, uh, reduce this to 54. So this is just 54%. And all the rest of this uh, remains the same except for this red tab here. This red tab we're going to change to 0.507. And let me rephrase, the blue tab is also going to change, we're just going to make that zero. And we get that look. And we click finished. And now we got that look. And then we add our color curves in and you get that nice uh, blue tint that you see in the movies all the time. It looks really nice. So yeah guys, that was how to create a custom lookup table uh, for your like nighttime scenes in Sony Vegas. Uh, using magic bullet looks again if you don't have magic bullet looks I'll leave some links in the description uh, you can go check them out that's just for videos to like go download it and stuff um, but if this tutorial helped you out don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out and uh, if you really feel inclined you can hit that bell button for get notified for more uploads and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you later guys peace